frequency. Okay. If you're a little too heavy, you got to settle down easy to get into the next level of that vibration dimension. Okay. And as you continue, again, you're going to be asked by the system to change your fr frequency so you can move into the next level and be equal to that frequency. Okay. Uh, See, do I want to mention the octopus? Okay, for example, for those of you who watch the octopus movie, uh, he got to a level frequency where he and the octopus could hold hands and hug each other and, and sort of be on friendly terms. That was a certain frequency, certain level. That guy had to settle and calm down, go through the cold water, easy, da 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 to be at that frequency where he and the octopus could be buddies, okay? Uh, so now in this journey to the under, I'd like to try to clean that up a bit, highlight certain things there, okay. Um, but maybe, maybe before we do that, uh, okay. There's an upper half to the creation, lower half to the creation. Um, this one is fairly well known. That's where most people are at. Anything under the abyss, the darkness is not understood, has a bad rep. We've said this more than once. Uh, and we're trying to get to this point where you experientially realize that it's great stuff and it's very important. You can't live or develop properly with just the upper half. That this whole thing, this harmony between the upper and the lower, the lower and the upper, that's harmony, okay? All right. Now, a lot of people in the upper are just thinking about harmony as something up here. That's right, but it's a half a harmony. Okay. To get closer to the uh, eventually, the, uh, or at least let's point out a universal harmony or an O-sensei level, uh, we have to pick up this, this under half better, clearer. So, let me see. Uh, the... Uh, this is from Noah, who read something to me from Jung. Uh, Jung's an alchemist, so him and Osensei have that relationship. Alchemist is somebody uh, who has a good feeling for the universe and is a character at that level. Okay, in the style that they're at. Osensei had his style of being an alchemist. Jung has his his style of being an alchemist. So your styles can be different, but your level of development is the same. Uh, so uh, Jung had a lot of experience with, with this. He studied it from what the psychological level of how the monsters or interferences are misunderstood psychologically. So that was his major, did good work. Uh, sensei, great work, okay. Now, what did Jung have to say? Uh, if you bring this up here, uh, or be aware of it, uh, there's an archaic fantasy possibility you, that you easily, it's easy to misunderstand it. Okay? Uh, for some, it's like poisonous or wrong or maddening, remember the psychologist angle, maddening. Yet, it's the only thing that contains life. This is the activator, okay? Uh, and also the fun of living. When it helps mix up a fuller character, there's this enjoyment of life that's different than you all know about, okay? So I paraphrase Jung there, but uh, again, see the same pattern. It's going to be misunderstood. 
you don't realize how valuable it is. Same pattern over and over again. Uh, okay. Where are we? So the word monsters, as we settle, there are different floors or levels. And in growing for those different floors, there'll be some energy activity. Let me see. Uh, if I have a diagram, it does it a bit better. I believe I do. Ah, that one does it better. Uh, there are different levels. I call them floors, uh, but you, you could have your own form of it. I also use uh, quite a few times a sense of a puddle, a certain amount of energy in a puddle. And as you settle, you get past the puddle and you move into the next level, which is a pond. Pond has more juice to it. The puddle, three hot days, the puddle is gone. A pond, three hot days, it's still there. May have lost something, but it's still there. It has more substance and sustenance. Sustenance? <laughs> okay, thank you. Got to learn this language. I speak alchem alchemically very well. Human stuff is a little more difficult for me. Okay. And under the pond is a lake, and it has more growing for it, and you can soak in there and, and change your whole character gets changed by being there and then after the lake is a great lake and then a sea and then an ocean and so i've used that form i, I kind of like the watery form also but to uh it's important to to have some sense of a floor so you don't get lost and get weird here i was thinking today of an elevator and you want to get off at the third floor, but the elevator doesn't have any numbers. So you don't know where you're going, how far you're going. A little crazy, huh? So it's good to use the numbers. I call them floors tonight. Easy, settle. As I settle, I want to get to the first floor, which is bunk right here. My feet are on the ground. That's my first floor. Ah, settle, make sure I'm at the floor, feeling the floor. It's not just an idea. Oh yeah, I see the floor down there. Yes, I know about floors, okay? Uh, probably our uh, Danny uh, knows better about floors than we do. Danny, you're in the flooring business, right? He's flipping it. Walling. What, walling? Well, you uh, probably still walls. know about floors. You're in construction. <laughs> <laughs> the hell with you, Danny. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Floor. So it's not an intellectual pursuit, of course. All right. It's a settle to begin to feel. Okay. So again, we're moving from a thinking brain. I only really think about floors. I see it. Yes. Okay. To beginning of feeling the floor. After a while, it'll be deeper sense feeling. Uh, my words, you can put in any words you want there to distinguish which level you're at. But let's use sense feeling after a bit. There's sensing after a bit. This goes finer and finer and finer of sensing. Okay. The upper half has the same pattern. Okay. I'm thinking kind of crazy, easy. Line up. Lisa, welcome back. We'll see okay. you now again. Thank you. Can you see me, by the way? Yes, we can see yes, you and can. hear you. There, we can there. see you and hear you now. There. I know, but I see me. It's, I, we can see you too. In fact, we see you the same way you see yourself. At least. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But anyway, <laughs> so where are we? Settling. First floor. Here with a bit of feeling that you're here. Okay. See, and again, for those people that are um, in the upper too much, uh, catch the differences. I know I'm here. I'm not in Alaska. I must be here. That's correct. But to feel that you're here. And then there are degrees of that. More feeling of being here. Okay? So let's not confuse the ideas 
with the experience. Very important. You're going to need that all the way through the whole universe. Okay, so at ground level. Okay. Now, there's a floor here. I want to go a bit deeper. Let's say, uh, let's say I, I want to stand. So I feel my feet on the floor and I stand from the floor. Okay. In fact, everyone, is that feel your feet easy. And with your feet being supported by the floor from the floor, whoops, I stand. Okay. Feeling. Now it's just an idea. From the floor, I stand. It's not an idea now. It's actual easy floor, feeling it. Floor body stands. Okay. So now I've got something tangible that told me I'm at floor level because I can feel it support me. And I kind of, the standerer feels not too bad. Okay. So I'm getting a little feedback. How do I know I'm not thinking about a floor? Well, because when I'm feeling the floor, there's a certain, a certain something that supports me, that you can feel. Is that okay? Simple, basic, yeah? Uh, now, careful of simple, basic, where you, um, it's very important, the first simple, basic, and the second simple, basic, and the third simple, basic. We have to establish a track record, okay? Uh, so in a certain way, this is a track record. First, feet on the floor, then whatever, and then whatever. We established a bit of a track record. Watch out for being, uh, I don't know what to say, uh, too ahead of yourself or too fast. Like, oh yeah, I know that. And then you stand sort of icky. I did that last week. I know that. And it's like, it's not something you learn. No, I learn it so that I can do the other half of it, which is feel it. Okay. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with learning, but don't stay there 100% because you learned it. You have to catch its partner, which is this active half. They're partners, okay? And we'll say that again and again and again. They're partners, okay? Uh, so at the floor, we got our feedback. Stood from the floor, felt not too bad, huh? Now, I want to go a bit deeper. I want more support. I want to stand uh, fuller, whatever. Okay, now I continue to settle. I've got this first floor obstacle. Let, let me say as an example, not a monster, an obstacle. Easy, easy. I feel this thing here, this called floor, easy, easy. And I settle at the floor because I quite, for a moment, can't get through it, let's say, okay? So again, it's not a monster, but it's an obstacle. Ah, that's a floor. Do you, oh, do you want me to imagine passing through the floor? No, I, want to, I don't want to go up there now. And we're playing under here. Floor, I continue easy. And then my vibrational frequency changes. Okay. Easy, settle, open. And there's a sense of going a bit deeper. If you have feeling capability right here, I'm starting to feel a vague tingling around my feet, early part of my leg. You're vague, it's vague. But I, I feel something going on. I'll call it tingling. Okay. Okay, I'm entering the next realm underneath that first floor, and it's just energy stuff. Now, the trick there is don't jump the gun. Oh, yeah, okay, I can stand. Don't jump the gun. Hang out at that level. Okay. Under this floor, there's a level of energy, okay, which is tingling my feet a bit. Easy there, settling opening, and I go a little bit deeper into that stuff in between, the tingling place, easy, and there'll be another floor soon, easy. I have to keep changing my frequency, easy, 
whatever, whatever age we are. Now I'm starting to feel a second floor, a sense feeling of a second floor, an imaginary feeling, not an imaginary. My imaginary is I'm down in this lower realm now. I can feel a floor. Easy. Easy. I want to hit the floor. Uh, there'll be a tendency to hover around it, above it. Hover. Oh, yeah, I see the floor. And then you try to stand. It won't quite be right. Hit the floor. Uh, I think I'll sense they like the word in English, position. Position. When you position at that floor, and easy, the energies at that level start to mix up the next level character. After a while, it ain't Bobby anymore. It's mixing up the, the standerer, remember him? He's not yet easy. At that floor, mixes up a better character. Hmm, it's better character starting to prep. There we go. And boom. Oh, Bit fuller. Okay. I hang out a bit. That was, I don't know, 80%, maybe 70. Easy. At that floor, I hit it again. Energies are mixing up at that level. So all those energies that I went through are mixing up a character equal to the lineage I'm on is standing. Okay. If I were on a different lineage, I want to be a better parent then would be mixing up energies to be a better parent. Okay, but here I'm standing. That's my lineage. That's our lineage right now. And, and, and. Mixes up fuller. It feels like it's coming up from a little more under, and I feel fuller. I feel fuller. I, I, uh, the, the, uh, as it mixes up a character, my body also is reacting to it. I, I feel this more. That's part of it. What else? Easy, easy. Floor, second floor under. Mixes up. Oh, very strong here. Boom. Uh, the, what's that called? Thighs. Uh, Katja, help me. Huh? My glutes. I just said my glutes are activating. Okay. Now there's the knowledge again after a while. Oh, glutes help you activate to stand. Okay. But just hanging out with that idea, I really can't stand. But I'm starting to have the idea. I need to stand. Oh, yeah, glutes. Settle down to the under half where the energies activate the glutes. This is a two-part universe, people, over and over again. It's a two-part universe. We're so, flip the page, we're so used to and caught up in the upper. And we keep forgetting there, or we didn't, weren't aware of it before, that there's an under half that's critical in everything. Okay. Uh, so Jung, trying to understand the craziness and whatever of the humans, said, well, we got to go down there and study this underworld. And that's where Jung become Jung, and that's where he was famous, and that's why some of his work is great work. Okay? Uh, he realized this whole half that people thought was, ah, was very important to be a person. Okay? All right. And how they were looking at it, as I read, uh, yes, it is strange and all of that, but once you get into it and, and, and associate, uh, equalize your vibe with it, it's a whole different thing. And finer, le uh, better levels are finer. So it gets better and better and better. Okay. Uh, see, the upper realm, uh, pretty easy and pretty fast to get into finer ideas. It's pretty fast. The under part is slower at first okay because it's like thicker so take your time with the half. but eventually uh the under half will be also very fast so since i said uh it's a split second it's uh I forget the word he used but immediate he could go hey 
and there'd be this fantastic guy there, okay? But don't you worry about it because you'll get the idea of speed and you won't have any experience in click, 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 and how to hang with that. And a couple simple tricks there, okay? So don't worry when I say it's fast. You take your time and take more time, okay? Experience how it works. So first uh, level floor, we settle past it. There is some humming stuff there that tickled my feet a bit. And then there's another floor, and that's the floor we're working now. From that floor, the energies mix up a better character. The lineage is standing, so the character it mixes up stands better. Here he's standing prettier. So not only stood fuller, but prettier. Okay. Uh, there are different qualities. Uh, these energies under are qualities. Okay. So again, people have an idea about beauty, but the energies under will go from nice in the puddle to nicer than nice in the, in the pond to, hey, starting to get really pretty in the lake to a sea of, what's the word, beauty? A sea of beauty that can be sense experienced. And you suddenly have a beautiful character. Hey, that guy's beautiful, isn't he? Okay. Uh, are you following me? Am I moving too fast here? We'll see. Okay. Uh, uh, you kind of get a sense of simplicity. A katcha would have a, my phone to read. Okay, uh, this is a, a note that Justin put on, case in point, a new consult uh, at his uh, well-being clinic, a new consult just now, no acupuncture or other therapy whatsoever, just conversation, tea, and the inv invitation to settle open, there's a truer self potential, okay? The character, truer self, the character. Uh, it's a truer self revealed, started to show a bit itself, okay? It was always there, but we have to settle and open so it that's there can begin to show. If we're uptight, boxed in, it can't show very well. Okay, that's a one by one. This could be called a two by two. He might be moving into a three by three. Okay, and he left feeling lighter, lighter. And called back to express that he's seeing the world like through a new lens. Got to a better level, things mixed up, a lighter character, and the character is seeing the world the uh, two by guy saw the world different than the one by one -er, and the three by three -er saw the world even better than the two by two or -er, saw it different in a clearer light. So that's what happened uh, over a cup of tea and just asking him to settle and open. Uh, very good, Justin. I think you get more practice in than anyone. Cool. So, thank you, Katja. Okay, so, uh, so this space uh, between floors, oh, so here, I guess, well, you know, okay. Uh, so, our first floor was this one right here, basic. That was our first floor. And we settled with the sense that there's deeper. Also, we should have a sense that deeper will slow but surely show finer, okay? Then we touched this, then we went through some little hum that tickled my feet, hit another floor. And easy, take your time. At that floor, mixes up, and then we stood. So our last stand was from that second floor, okay? 
then we would continue, okay? And try uh, uh, the floor under that. Now I'm at a floor next for a moment uh, is a little panic. I, I don't know what's next. Extra panic because you're looking at me, waiting for me to do something brilliant. So panic, panic. Easy. Settle, easy. I'm bringing this panic guy back down here. Back. Easy. Easy. Hush. Settling and opening. Whatever words. Easy. Hush. Don't panic. Easy. Okay. And I'm passing through this floor. What to say about that? Okay, this floor uh, that I'm passing through is also showing thicker. Uh, it's like a little cementy or brick-like. It's like a, a, a bit of a wall. So that's a monster. It's not a monster, but it's an obstruction. It, it, it kind of feels like a wall. I'm, I can sense image, not image. I'm doing it down here. I sense image bricks and cementy. So it's it's blocking me out. Easy now, though. Settle. As I easy and settle, my vibration rate changes. Can I say that? Vibration rate changes. Easy. Easy. I happen to notice, not important, but I happen to notice my breathing change levels. That's a good sign. Easy. Now, the obstruction of a brick or cementy wall doesn't feel like it's there anymore. I feel like I'm sinking a bit deeper. Okay. Now, that's a sense feeling. I can't sink a bit deeper. I'm sitting on this damn bench, okay? But I can sense feel deeper, okay? Again, different than imagining. Oh, yeah, going deep now. I'm at 400 phantoms heading for five, yep. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm down here sensing. I'm sensing the underworld. Okay. So that little obstruction of brick and cementy is not there anymore. And just a feeling of downward. Okay. Now I'm in a zone of, of vibration energies. Okay. Easy. What sense? I don't know. It feels kind of calm not i'm nervous calm it feels it feels calmness with calmness okay easy calmness a little bit dark easy dark dark could be an obstruction i can't see it's dark there's nothing there easy that's just a, a border as you settle and your frequency your vibe changes you pass through that okay Okay, now it's it's a light energy now. See, the dark was just a, a screen or a curtain because I saw the dark curtain. I said, oh, there's nothing here. Like, no, the curtain just tells you there's something behind the curtain. What's behind curtain number three? Uh, some great stuff. Where am I going? I'm going crazy out here. Young, where are you when I need you? Okay, this energy. So it feels a more alive, sparkly, vibrant. And feels too heavy. And Sensei, we I have lost your picture again. <clears throat> I'm sorry, if Sensei, if you can hear me, I I think we need to. Uh, can hear you. We need to turn off your camera and turn it back on for a moment, please. Turn off your camera, turn it back on for a moment. I'm, uh, I'm talking. Can you hear me, by the way? I, I can hear you, Sensei. This is Lauren, and uh, I can turn the camera off. Not there. He'll go away. Okay. Where the hell are we? Uh, okay. I wanted to cover. I need a different diagram. Uh, I wanted to uh, cover, uh, okay, eight, uh, 
dot, dot, dot. Not very clear, is it? Uh, this is a little sitting man picture. Yeah, close That's enough. I, I, I wanted to cover, and I'm trying to cover is, okay, this first floor, a good starting place, okay? This is when you're comfortable on your sitting pillow or standing comfortable with your feet touching the ground, actually feeling it, okay? Then we talked about a little energy stuff. Can you see that? A little energy stuff here that you have to pass through and vibe with, so easy, and vibe with it, okay? You don't have to do anything, I don't have to vibe. Uh, just easy with it, easy with it, and it's a natural uh, blending. Then that brings you to the next floor, okay? Ah, I need darker pens here, bigger pens. Brings you to the next floor. There we go. And then at the next floor, and uh, okay, if this guy is a standerer, instead of a sitter, standerer, uh, when you move through the energies, careful you don't jump the gun and be halfway there and stand off of it. You'll feel like you're being pushed. You'll lurch. You'll jump the gun. Okay. Uh, see, when you see the divers at the uh, swimming races, and quite a few of them dive before the uh, gun goes off, uh, they're being pushed. They didn't get quite enough floor, but the energies are pushing them. And so they end up in the water and they feel like dummies because they jump the gun. Uh, so take your time here to, you, in some form, feel a floor. Okay, again, whatever sense you have of a floor. Uh, oh, since I would say that's very important, establish that floor. Then as you establish the floor, the mix of these energies, okay, the up and down beat of those energies mixes or creates or breeds, again, find your own word, oh, sensei would say recreate yourself. I kind of like a simpler form. I call it, the energies are mixing and it mixes you up, okay? Or because for me, they're male and female, they'll breed the next level of me. I won't be Bobby anymore. I'll be a Robert or being a fair standerer. I'll be a good standerer. And if I continue, potential is to be a great standerer if I continue this process, okay? So I wanted to... Uh, have you take your time uh, with those energies between floors, take your time at establishing uh, the underfloor, and there it mixes, boom, boom, okay? Now, the uh, monsters, uh, let's call them tonight guardians at the gate. Uh, if you bump into... Uh, okay, so I bumped into a uh, cement wall, okay, or brick. Okay, just felt kind of bricky, cementy. Easy, settle some more, open some more, and your vibe naturally changes to where it's not an obstruction and you pass through pretty easily. You don't step back and go, oh, let me look at brick. Let me wonder why there's a brick thing interfering with my development. Let me muse on that. Uh, you don't, don't go there. You're wasting your time, okay? Just need you to, for lack of words, equal your vibe and you naturally pass through, okay? It's sort of not an obstruction. It's like, this is here for you, but you have to be a bit calmer to enter here to get the benefits of this. It's all yours, but there's a few rules. We don't let heavy, hunky idiots into this. It's not healthy for them. Don't screw it up, okay? Certain rules, settle, settle. Any rules you make for your kids, settle down or you don't get any popcorn. Kid settles down, he gets the popcorn, okay? We're still at that stage. <laughs> 
sad, isn't it? Ah, uh, okay. So uh, again, the word monsters is too heavy. Whatever kind of thing that obstructs you, all right? Uh, a couple of our lady Zoomers are talking about uh, boulders, okay? So you're on a path and there's a boulder there, okay? Uh, and I heard some dialogue like, well, I can jump over it maybe and go around it, or let me interpret and see why it's there. Stop it, stop it. It's not to be studied psychologically. It's there. In fact, maybe we'll have everyone play. You want to play with a boulder in this process? Ah, let's give it a shot. Okay, the game is you're settling down. You want to move into a finer dimension, lower. But along the way, suddenly there's a boulder there, right, right on your path. Okay? Now, easy. Settle, and your system will begin to change frequencies. Easy, boulder, settle. And I'm still feeling some sense of obstruction. Easy, settle. So what do I have to do on this side of the boulder to pass through to the continuation? my journey. I'm hearing hush and I'm sensing, I don't know, just lighter, just a feeling of lighter, lighter energy vibrations, lighter. Yeah, lighter. Yeah, a little freer. If I allow an image, I'm getting a bird just flowing along lightly and effortlessly. Okay. Again, my images aren't those images, it's under Im images. But, and as I sense, feel that lighter, the boulder's gone. And I'm in the next dimension. The next dimension infers the energies there are vibing at a better level. So it goes from thick to finer. And then I go through the same thing of hanging out a certain amount of that vibration rate. And double checking. How the energies, if I could say that here, how the energies feel. Senses of their brightening energies, they're cleaner. I see or sense them as being whiter. And the sense feeling of whiter is easy and cleaner. It's like if I was carrying something heavy, I don't know, whatever that might have been. I am not anymore. Something has been cleaned off or left behind. And now I'll hang out through that level till I get to the next floor, at which time we'll repeat the process at that floor. The finer energies at this level will mix up a better character. We jump ahead real fast and at this level mixes up. Okay, this character as a stander, he kind of feels like these energies have picked me up. I don't feel like I had to grab my muscles to stand up. It kind of flavors like, oh, yeah, here comes this uplifting energy. And I kind of rode a bit of a flow up, which is even better than uh, standing fully. This was even better. Something flow. So I jumped ahead because we're running out of time already. I uh, just to kind of give you a clue. So. The guards at the gate, uh, anything that obstructs you, slows you down, stops you. Uh, a brick wall, okay, stop and be easy. Your vibration rate, easy, will change and you'll pass through when you're at the right vibration rate. Again, they don't, it's kind of a built-in law where the heavy guys can't come in, okay? 
uh, or you can maybe project your that part of you they can go any place project yourself there but because you're not there you can't sustain it you're sort of aware of stuff but you aren't it you aren't really a standard uh, so uh, settling participating a sense of experiencing melding with find your own words melding with okay see in the octopus movie even for the guy to get into the cold water at first he stood waist deep and it was cold he's not wearing a wetsuit it's cold easy i put words in his mouth easy it's okay easy and then after a while his body and the cold water weren't at odds with each other and then he said okay and then he went deeper into the water and then another level and another level uh so uh the water looked like a monster or an obstruction i don't want to go into this cold water that's my upper reaction. As you settle and easy, things change. Where you can go into the water. And then again, another level, things change where you can go deep, deep in the water. Things change and you notice a whole domain of underworld activity, fish and uh, whatever plants grow there. And, oh, that's interesting. It's in a different level. Da 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 okay so uh so i was just trying to uh, slow this uh floor to floor process down to give you a little better sense and to some of you were well i don't see a monster and i had to make a correction i didn't mean everything has to be a monster okay uh but also in the upper realms i hope i'm not saying too much here the upper realms when you go into finer dimensions doing that form Okay, again, not a sensei form, a sensei wanted the, he understood that, but he said, eh, let's do this one. Uh, the, I'll give you my history. Going upper, I bump into guardians at the gate. Let's see if I can remember. I remember a, a kind of a circular Chinese type doorway. Uh, it was kind of fiery. I say, whoa, fire. Stop and I just sit there, easy. And then the vibe, changes the vibration rate changes and and your better level easily passes through there's no more fiery gate you just go through okay uh had one where two oriental uh, kind of like those lamps behind me but they're the guards kind of ugly looking guys a couple of statues of those maybe in my garage anyway uh if i can find them i'll pull them out guards at the at the temple uh and again you don't stop and try to figure out the guards or become an orientologist and oh yeah that god is whatever and he represents whatever and in the kojiki blah blah and go on and on that's not going to help you here you want to do that something else i want to continue my journey for development okay so anyway any kind of guards or interruption uh, in the upper, also, there would be uh, some kind of like wise man, a kind of uh, an obvious mentor or more developed. And I'd sit there and in a sense say, hey, I want to continue. Hey. And I would hear him say something to me, not here, but sense here. You got to settle down a bit more or, or you got to be a little clearer. Oh, OK, thank you. And I would just. Take a moment or two or three, easy, and then I would pass through. Okay, he would just clue me into how to vibe to get into that next uh, vibrational level. Right. Okay? Um, so there are guardians at the gate in the upward finer dimensions, and there are guardian of the gates in this lower ones. It's just because the lower realm at first is thicker; uh, they can appear heavy-duty, monsterish, ten let that bother you any okay uh so guardians of the gate 
to move through dimensions is both upper and lower. The upper ones will seem nicer. Lower ones at first will seem heavier. Remember, uh, I told you my pattern. Uh, I remember one pattern where I was sitting, I want to go a bit deeper, and suddenly I'm in a snake pit, and the damn things are biting me. I can feel them. Lunk, lunk. Oh, gee, I got no love for snakes, right? But I just easy, just hang out. I'm in the meditation space here. Somehow it must be okay, I hope. And as I just easied with them biting me, let them bite me. That's, ah, that's what I did. I didn't fight them. I let them bite me. It's coming back to me now. And then suddenly I pass that level into the next finer. And the snakes are spiraling up, not biting me. They're smiling. Oh. Okay. Now that I lose my voice. We hear you okay. fine, Sensei. We hear you okay. fine. All right. My TV is acting up. Ah. And then continued, and it was just energy spiraling up, and it continued finer again to this beautiful lady. And she was like the mother of these energies and or the goddess of these energies. And she'd flick and they would come up spiraling. Beautiful energies. It, at that level, it felt good. Felt healthier and more alive. Now, this was years ago. So my mistake was I stopped there because she was beautiful and these things spiraling up were beautiful. And I'm like, wow. Now I hang out with the lady and figure her she's an obstruction now and i would blend till i got to that vibration rate where i pass through her into the next dimension but i did what most humans would do i was attracted and I, wow i'm gonna hang out here okay now i probably also call that level of comfortableness but now i want to continue i want to get finer and develop more and stuff but i didn't know some of these tricks back in the day okay Ah, uh, so where are we? Uh, one second. Oopa! Koch is making me drink. I tend to be, uh, what's the word? When you don't have water. I tend towards dehydration. And I can't seem to drink enough scotch to cover that. I I don't know. I got to figure out how that works. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to get you away from this word monsters and anything that seems to stop you or confuse you or is too dark for you uh, or a wall of any kind or even somebody. To easy, settle, and you'll naturally, your vibration rate will naturally change. Don't turn that into a verb. I got to change my vibration rate. Don't do that. Easy. Quiet. It's all there, and it'll begin to show, and you'll sense it, and you'll naturally move through. If you have trouble moving through, go back to in front of it, could I say, and settle some more. You haven't quite, whatever, cleaned off enough or vibed well enough. Sometimes I'd go through into another dimension. I'd be like, what the hell's going on here? I was kind of like lost. And I, I learned a trick of uh, saying, okay. And I, in effect, stepped out of that dimension or realm back to before. And I just hang out and settle a bit to have my vibe be at a better rate. And then when I went through into this realm or dimension, oh, it made sense. I had a better flavor for what qualities it was, and what goes on there, okay? Uh, so confusion clued me in that I didn't enter right. Kick back, let's go over it again. Take your time and we'll go over it again. And it worked every time, all right? Uh, so, 
take your time between this floor, some stuff, some activity, and that floor. If you don't feel any activity, you don't see anything squirming around, whatever, uh, just have a sense of deeper, and there should be a sense of an other floor, okay? But usually as, uh, especially if you're under imaging sense is good, there'll be a sense of seeing something. Uh, so one of our zoomers was talking about being lower and uh, there were little squiggly things all around. Nice little squiggly things, but squiggly things. Okay, that's the energy at that level, that in-between stuff. Look for a floor, very important to, to have a reference, okay? Uh, I don't want you getting lost in the vastness of the universe, okay? So floors, floor, floor. And the tricks of the trade of moving from one level to the next to the next are very important. Eventually, now careful, you'll be able to move through these very quick, okay? It's like you slowly take an elevator down to that floor you hang out there, get a sense of it. Oh, lingerie department. Oh, silky. Oh, and it creates a silky smooth person. Bear with me. Ah, easy. Settle down. Begin to move to the next floor. Pass through something. Hit that floor. You get out of the elevator. Okay. And it's a different department. Energy is a different vibe. And it makes up a character at that level. After you do this, you have some practice, not one minute, uh, but really have some practice in doing these click, click, click. Uh, one day you can say, I don't feel like stopping at floor two. I, the character of floor two is not impressive to, to me at this time. I think I'll take the express elevator. Then you'll go down to floor four and It'll mix up the character. You'll be standing on that floor, and there you are. Uh, but careful of this uh, of jumping too fast. Uh, okay, very important. These simple basics is what I sometimes call kindergarten. Don't diss it. It's very important. And to establish a track record of being very clear on this process experientially. So to go over level one to two to three again and again, that's what I kind of do in Aikido class. We, we pick a couple levels and we go over it again and again and again, and we stay there for a half an hour doing a technique. And then we go, let's go to another little bit deeper level. And we do another half hour of a technique at that level. We're taking our time. We're getting used to it. We're establishing the character at that level. Okay. So, do take your time, but one day you will be able to go faster. Okay. Uh, oh, sensei, something about this said something like um, if they try to go too far too fast, they run into something that's bigger and I don't know, stronger uh, and it'll scare them and they'll never come back. So you've screwed up their journey because you help them get down too deep into too fine, too fast, and boom, they get scared by the amount that's there, the uh, of it, the beauty of it, the power of it, the whatever of, of it. So, so we gotta be careful, okay, we'll go that. So a couple of things I wanted to mention. Oh, finishing time already. Um, so, snake picture. Yeah. Uh, the guards, again, are not there to be analyzed. They're there to help you settle some more and shift your vibration rate, whatever word you want to use there, and you can pass through. Okay. Hang on a moment. Oh, uh, Jack, what I happen to mention, uh, uh, he likes Don Juan, you know, that, that series. And that Don Juan mentioned border guardians. 
Trump likes it is right for writing. Border guardian, okay. They're not to keep you out. They're to help you settle some more, vibe better, so that you can enter this better place. Okay. It's kind of like, is it, is it like a very fancy restaurant with great food? Must be the one the California governor was eating at for you California people. Mm -hmm. uh, but to enter that restaurant, which has great food and will welcome you to eat there, you have to have a jacket and tie on. Okay. No big deal. Jacket and tie, and they welcome you into the restaurant. And that food is for you because somebody else is picking up the tab, like the governor. He doesn't have to buy his own food. Anyway, that's a California political joke. Uh, let's see. Guardians at the gate. Okay. Remember again, uh, the um, when we talk about kami, generally in the human world, we're in, people go, oh, kami, kami. Guess which world they're talking about. Kami. Well, since they said they're kami under here also. Okay. So these energies under here are beautiful and they have the title Kami, Kami also. Well, since they said uh, uh, he called the uh, Kami in the upper half Amatsu Kami. And I believe I heard him right. Uh, the uh, under realm Kami uh, Kunitsu. Is that right? Yeah, Kunitsu. And with the addition, the activation Kami. Activation. They're the energies that really mix and activate a character. Okay. So this upper half can kind of mimic it a bit, but it's not a, the character is not quite there properly because you're trying to do it half ass. We need more of the fullness or at least a harmony. Okay. So if we come down here, there's a harmony going on. All right. Uh, to try to get a sense of that in the old days, I used to play a game of going, because I was still an upper meditator, just trying to learn about this under. And so I would, from here, I'd go up a level into a finer dimension, because I was used to that as an upper meditator for years. Very good at it, by the way. And, uh, uh, and then I'd get a flavor there. And then I'd take the elevator down to an underfloor and get the flavor there. So I used to practice riding this elevator up second floor down to the under second floor. I just tried to get some flavor. Okay, little so game. Uh, this is an aside for Dusty. Dusty on tonight? I don't see his face. Yes. Yes. Uh, Dusty brought up on uh, that chit chat thing. Uh, that you aren't sure there for a moment whether this was coming up or you were going down or if it mattered. And that sparked something. I had an experience there back in the day where I was doing a sitting form, again, fairly new with the under, but I was playing with sitting there and having the under come up in the form of water. So I was like in a container like I wanted to hold my parameters and the sense of water coming up, the underworld starting to show here. Okay. And it was fine. It was fine till the water came up to here, mouth level, approaching the nose. And it was a moment panic. I really played the game. I thought, oh my God, I'm going to drown here. The water is coming up there. I won't be able to breathe. So I easy past that panic. Okay. See, it wasn't an idea. In an idea, I wouldn't panic. I could drown in my idea. It's all right, let's go now. Give me a drink. Yeah. Uh, but I really play the game. I really sense, feel. 
So when that water came up, I panicked. But easy with the panic, hush, settle down, open up, whatever. I used to say in those days. And then the water went up more, meaning I was deeper. And I suddenly realized I'm like in some kind of underwater creature that can breathe a porpoise or something. I don't know how porpoise breeds, but where I could breathe in the upper air and I could breathe, breathe in this under realm. I could breathe in both worlds. I thought that was cooler than hell. Wow. So I was at a level where I began to, to whatever that is. Okay. I'm of both worlds. It was the introduction to look at. You exist in both worlds. That was one of my earlier introductions. I can breathe air. I can breathe air. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, Dusty, your, your uh, what do they call it? A mission impossible? Your mission, your mission, if you choose to accept it before it blows up on you, uh, is if you want to, because you were wondering about that, go ahead and play with it. And I'll, I'll try to play with it if I have time also. Uh, and you know, give me some feedback after you're an expert on doing the under by having it come up. <laughs> okay. Remember, it's still dimensional though. So make sure you, as you have a sense of you're deeper there, that it's a finer dimension. Okay. So you're doing the same process, but you're just letting it come up instead of you go down. Let me know how you, how you do with that. And I'll try to put time in if I get time. Ah. Uh. Uh, sorry for the technical disruption, but again, it wasn't our fault. Somebody else, the studio, not us. Any comments before? Uh, oh, there's the, there's the guardians at the gate there. Yes. Right. So, Sensei, these are from the from Nico, out you know in the mountains outside Tokyo, yeah. and these are exactly what you described. They're temple guardians at the gates. They come in all different colors. <laughs> oh, okay. Japanese word is komainu. Komainu. Great. Change your vibe. Pass through. A a anything before we turn you off? Yeah, it's Mike from New Zealand, Sensei. Um, yes. I just wanted to say that Guardians for me feels like a a better base word to use for describing this, you know, what you previously referred to possibly as monsters. Because as you yeah. say, guardians can be friendly, they can be very stern, they can be very frightening. They can be, you know, and it's, it's a good word, I think, to... Um, yeah. Again, to I think I brought out the word monster because we're introducing people to this first and I wasn't sure how strong the under might show. Okay. Understood. Uh, Understood. So, but again, people take me too literally. So I didn't see any monsters. I saw four walls and a uh, and a traffic guard. Uh, but I didn't see any monsters. I, anything that slows you down, that obstructs you, that confuses you, uh, that you can't see through, that's it. Jeez. Hang out there. Something will change. And you'll be able to continue the journey to development. How does it develop? Because at different floors, finer energies naturally mix up or breed or you get recreated. Don't panic. It'll still be you, but it'll be a better you. But, but I want to stay me. I had that fear. I remember that. I remember in the early days taking a pillow in my I had a sitting room then, whoa, a meditation room, and throwing the pillow angrily against the wall and saying, why can't I be like everybody else? Because I knew I was changing. And I wasn't sure at the moment if I wanted to change because I wouldn't be like everybody else. Put a dig on you. I wouldn't be able to talk the same bullshit y'all talk. <laughs> joke. Don't throw rocks at me. Uh, you missed the joke there. She got the joke. Hey, you got the joke. Okay. A couple of you got the joke. Roy, screw you. Uh, anyway. Uh, uh, 
I forgot where we, oh, we, were, we were talking to somebody. Who was I talking to? Uh, you were talking to Mike from New Zealand. Yeah, Mike. Say. So, yeah. Uh, so that's why I brought up the heavy word. But yeah, anything like that we could call a, a border. Yeah. Okay. You'll have your own. Uh, you'll be able to deal with them. Lickety split. No big deal. Let you know if you're at a floor, getting ready to head into another dimensional under finer energy. Okay. Uh, we should make a one day a quality approach. These are qualities under here. Once you get past the thickness of them into the, it's like a, a peeling an onion. At first it's uh, thicker and heavier, but as you sense through, it'll begin to show you the finer of itself. Uh, the upper doesn't show so thick. It very quickly shows easy and beautiful and it's in everything nice and I don't know. It's very easy that way. The under uh, is a little harder at first, but the reward, the reward is activity, activation. Uh, the reality of beingness, the character, okay? Uh, we really need that piece of it. This upper alone won't do it. And I know the upper finer level meditators would fight me here, but I've been there, done that, believe it or not. And I'm telling you, you won't be able to go the distance with that. It's nice. It's beautiful. I loved it. I was good at it. But I realized something was missing. I said, it's sense. It's not quite all here. And in my system, I heard, go down. And I said, what the hell is go down? I've been an upper meditator. I'm good at it. I'm at the finer dimension. You can't believe. So I reached a limit. And I said, go down. When I went to Japan, my question for a sensei was, or my question was, I know this upper is a reality because I can sense experience it. I know it's a reality. And I knew there was a bit of a trickle down to here. Okay. But my question was, is it real or real, real? I know it was real in my meditation space, no question. But was it real, real? Then I saw O oh, Sensei. And he, in essence, just by being there, doing what he does, oh, it's also real, real, because he had activated that whole under half. All this that you believe is real, and it activates this. Oh, since it was a major on this under first, he thought that was a much better way to go. That if you get fuller there, this upper concept aspect, the upper half, will naturally just click in, no problem. You do the upper half uh, better and better, uh, your view on this under being present uh, will annoy or scare or bump the hell out of you because it's a partner. It's going to want to come into play. I call this she. Uh, as she gets finer and finer, he is, he's hunting. He's on the hunt and he's going to boom. And a lot of uppers can't handle that. They're so high, anything that they look down at is god awful ugly. The higher you are, the uglier and darker it gets. So do this one first. Do this one first. Okay, so that's where old sense was different than other spiritual teachers, could we call them? Or al alchemists? Well, all alchemists should know this. But anyway, get this under half first. And everything else will clarify and fit in. So that's where old sensei was different. Okay. Again, he was aware of this. He could have taught that. He said, I would have had more students. I'd have a bigger following. But there were other guys teaching that. And they're going to miss something. So I will major in this. All right. So from the get-go, he had an affinity for this. We sometimes refer to this as the Susano factor. Susano has a bad name in Japanese. It's this, this aliveness, this force called Susano. You got a bad name. 
uh, of course, everything under usually has a bad name. And he had a, he had a sense about that one. He had a, a feeling for Susano, even when he was young, that he had a sense for Susano. So he was like prompted from an early age to play here. Okay. If there's nothing, we can finish. Anybody, anything important? Sensei, it's Justin in Miami. Real quick, I just Justin. wanted to share, um, and thank you, of course, for, for everything. Um, one thing that's, that's really stuck with me, um, a, a warning of sorts that you'd given was to follow an orderly and balanced progression, square away at each level. And like you've been saying, don't rush, maybe just dip your toe in it at first, but- If that's, um, if that's where you're at, yes. Yes, but you know, uh, an interesting thing about, in the chat I'm talking about how are people applying this, the every day, work a day type person. And um, you know, in addition to this idea of dimensionality and levels, as you're going through your day, you know, what kind of floor do you need to be working from to line up properly to what's coming up next for you? Are you at a deep enough, full enough, fine enough to handle the next thing? Or do you need to settle and open first? Don't wait till you're surprised. Just, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. line up in prep first. Simple, simple one. Uh, this bench is a little heavier than it looks, okay? I'm gonna hurt my back because the floor is improper. Oh, heavy bench, huh? Ah, I'm touching a different floor. From that different floor, I have more of this can happen. I, I'll, I'll give you that as a, as a trick that you're free to use. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. You don't have to acknowledge me when you teach that trick. But I often do, just FYI. But by the way, that could be good if you had a little barbell or something, a light one, not too heavy. Mm -hmm. Want your okay. customers to break their back. Uh, it, it's to say, you know, be sloppy, go pick it up, and 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 huh? what? And then now let's do it right. Again, we're back to the stupid signs in factories. Bend your knees when you lift the box. That's a pathetic level us human beings are in, where we have to have signs to tell us to bend our, our knees or get a better ground for the job that you're doing. And it's a notch better, but it's pathetic the level of human con condition. It's so sad. Come on, people, let's move along here. Let's, let's get comfortable with this underworld. Let's pick up the pace. This is beautiful stuff under here. And this beautiful stuff will mix up a beautiful character, whatever your lineage is. You need it. It's your qualities. Okay. Sorry, it's thicker at first. Sorry, it could be kind of ugly at first. Sorry about that. But that's, that's a facade. Easy right through all of that. Pick up the wow of it. Thank you. Enough. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, everyone, for uh, staying with us tonight. And thank you so much, Nado Sensei and Brad and Ken and Katja there, uh, giving us all the support we needed. Thank you, everyone. And we're signing out. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. We'll see everyone thank next you. week, Friday, same time. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Good night, everyone. Good night. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Chip, chip, chip. Yep. Sensei. Thanks for all your great work, guys. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, Sensei.